Hey guys, the military chiefs and inspector general of police have shared a seven page security sector brief with the House of Representatives members containing the debate questions to be asked during the interactive session today, Tuesday. Then somebody they talk say corruption could finish for Nigeria. How? How you want this to uh, stop? when they get each other's back. That is it. They know how to communicate to each other. They know how to run these things. Now then they grant, now then they run them. Nigerians, there is fire on the mountain. Everything these people, they take them like play. Insecurity in Nigeria, they play with it. The, the Nigerians welfare, they play with it. Everything about this country, these people, they use Nigerians, they play. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. God bless you all. Amen. The military chiefs and the inspector general of police have shared a seven-page security sector brief with the House of Representative members containing the debate questions to be asked during the interactive section today, Tuesday. In the document titled, Guiding Questions for Honorable Members on Security Sector Brief, obtained by Sahara Reporters on Tuesday morning, the leader of the House Committee, Professor Julius, is expected to open the floor for the session. Assess how your agency is doing in terms of effective implementation of your mandate. Identify specific areas of challenges and speak to how the National Assembly can assist. Would you read the opening question by Julius? Thereafter, Bello Kamo, the chief whip, will ask the second question, how effectively are the armed forces and police in achieving their mandate in terms of time and cost? On the scale of one to five, one being bad and five being very good, give reasons for your answer. A top source in the National Assembly who shared the security brief with Sahara Report had stated that the communication ahead of the session was to save both the federal lawmakers and the security chiefs from embarrassment during the interaction. These are exposed reportedly sent by service chiefs to the NAS as say as so they won't be embarrassed. He reviewed. He reviewed. Please I beg make on pardon me, Jerry. He reviewed. When I see these people. When I tell you, I say, then they play with Nigerians. You could just be like, say, eh, person just they talk. All the grab grab President Bola Metunubu did, changing the service chiefs and this and that. Has anything changed? Has, it, has, has the killing stopped? Is there any development so far? So you see, this is just them. All of them walking. In the same circle. Questions for sectoral debates, PDF. Questions for sectoral debates, okay. Sarah reporters last week reported that the House of Representatives were furious over the absence of the service chiefs and the Inspector General of Police, Coyote, at the interactive session scheduled for last Thursday during plenary. The security head is that sent representatives. The House had last week scheduled a sectoral debate with the security chiefs as it planned to do with other sectors of the country. Following a constitutional point of order by the Deputy Speaker Benjamin Kahlo, the House rejected the representation of the security heads and insisted postponed Instead, postpone the session. The engagement has been scheduled, rescheduled to Tuesday. Okay, this next week, that which is today now, as the House 
insisted that the service chiefs must appear at the debate. The service chiefs are the chief of defense staff, CDS, General Christopher Musa, the chief of army staff, COAS, Lieutenant General Lagbaja, the chief of air staff, CAS, Air Masha Hassan Abubakar, and chief of naval staff, CNS, the vice admiral, Emmanuel Og Og Ogala. Okay. So, Nigerians, what else do you want to, to know again? That these people, they are not ready for anything. Upon the current affairs going on daily in this nation. <laughs> e oh my God. Someone said it is normal in the interest of national security. First world countries do that too. These questions give them a clue of the direction and issues they should discuss. Even the FBI draft questions and give to the President of the United States areas he is not comfortable with, he takes out for national security. Running governance is different from running a social media. Okay, someone dropped that. Of Nigeria, a blessed country where leadership is measured by an extent of influence and negligence of duty or oppression of the citizens. Only God can save us from this animal kingdom. Soon Nigerian students start sending exam questions to their lecturers ahead of examination. Nigeria is moving forward. I wish after all they will use the answer findings to the betterment of our beloved nation, if at all they will do. You see, to me, you know, say everybody, they think differently. I don't think this is necessary, you understand? Why I said it's not necessary is because that place, those areas they are lacking, they will avoid them. Yes, because they will not be talked about. And those areas will still continue to lack. So why are you, why are you covering? Why, why the coverage? Why are you shading yourselves? These people, they are not ready to do anything. I don't talk this matter. I don't talk them. I see they talk them again. Nigeria is in the... In fact, we are now in the middle of Red Sea, trapped. That is the truth. Well, when I don't hear the matter, I beg. What do I get to talk concerning this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not shared this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.